Hello, this is Salim. In this video, I am going to talk about assignment in Microsoft Teams. And to cover assignment in Microsoft Teams, I am going to talk about the following topics. The first is how to find assignment notification in Microsoft Teams, how to access the assignment, how to check the assignment details that the teacher will send you to guide you during your assignment, how to preview and download the attachment. So if the teacher sent extra file, how to see this file and how to download. And then how to upload and review your file. So if you have the file, you need to upload and you need to check this is your file and then send it to the teacher. And finally, how to submit the assignment for the teacher. And in case there is some error in the file, how to undo your submission and then resubmit again your assignment. Let's check that. And to do that, let's go to Microsoft Team. Here is my desktop and I can find Microsoft Team icon here. Or if, I, if you couldn't find it, just navigate to the search bar here and write Teams and then you can find Microsoft team, click that one. Once the Microsoft team is open, the assignment can be found, the notification for the assignment can be found in the chat under the assignment. Under the assignment, I can find here the assignment I received from my teacher. For example, this is the latest assignment, assignment number one, and the due date is May 18th, and Here's under the May 18th, here's the name of the course, which is MATLAB Introduction to Numerical Analysis Program. So to know about the assignment notification, it is existing in chat under the assignment tab. This is the first topic. And to go to the second topic, how to access and check your assignment. You have two options to do that. The first option is you can simply click view assignment once you click view assignment you are going directly to the assignment itself the other way to do that let's go back to the chat assignment and here i know that the assignment in the matlab teams so i can go to teams and then this is matlab and this is general and under the general i can find assignment tab under the assignment, I can find two options. The first one is assigned. It means the assignment which I didn't finish yet. And the second one is completed. If I complete and submit my assignment, so I can find the completed assignment here. If I click this assignment number one, the same that we found in chat, we can find the same window here. So we have two options. The first option is from chat, and then under that assignment or you can go to the team itself general assignment and then you can find your assignment the third topic is how to check the details of the assignment for example here this assignment number one the instructor which is me asked the student to do the following number one is to download the attached file with this name so where is this file Simply, this file can be found in the reference material. So the reference material is including any attached file. I can find the same name here. And then he asked me to download, so we need to know how to download. And then rename the file to including the student ID and name. I will teach you how to do that. And then answer the assignment. You will do by yourself. And then how to up upload the file after you complete the assignment and then how to check that the file you already upload is correct or not and then send the assignment to me and let's check if there is some error please note how to adjust this error and then submit back the assignment to me number four we need to review and download the attachment to preview the attachment to see this file, simply click that file. And here you can find this file. But here you can't write. If I try to write no, 
this document is read only case so you can read but you can't edit to download just navigate to this three dot and then click you have two options the first one is download as a word file because this is word file or download as a pdf if i click download it will be downloaded i can also close this window and to download just the other option to download these three dot and then we have the download here let's download click download now it is downloading and we can see window here it's saying it is downloading the file once this window disappeared it means that the file already download where is the file downloading mostly the file will download in let's minimize if you open your pc and then go to download you can find the file here so the file is most probably in your download files this is how we can download let's open the two window together this window and the team window so now we completed the first instruction which is download the attachment file number two rename the file to include your student id and your name to do that you can see here this is the file name is 2020m and then triple x and instead of this triple x write your student id and then underscore name under this name please write your name for example let me rename the file the first one is just click or click the file one click a right click and then rename the file click rename and then you can select where to rename the file i can write instead of xxx my number for example i will suppose that my number is 000 for example in your case 012120 something like that and then instead of name i will write my name for example salem ibrahim and salem enter now the file already renamed so we finished the second requirement the third requirement is to answer the assignment to answer we just open the file double click to open and now the file is open but the problem is if i try to answer for example enter my name and student id if i try to write i can't because he asked me here to enable editing please click enable editing once you click enable editing you can write the student id if this missing proofing tools appear don't care it's not important just close and then write student name for example my name is salem and the student password uh, student id for example 2020 capital m and then 000 in my case and now i put my name my student id and in this assignment i give you some mathematical expression and i need you to write in matlab expression for example 1.3 multiplied to len len should be wrote as a log and 4 factorial it should be wrote as a factorial 4 and then minus and then minus 0.7 to the power 2 we should write this hat to the power 2 divided by 3 and then sine 20 degree and because this is degree we should write sine d and then 20 and then we have the this is the output how to find the output simply take this expression control c and then open matlab let's minimize the window and let's open matlab Now the MATLAB window is opened and then we take this expression as we mentioned, copy and then paste here, control V or right click, paste, pause is OK and press enter. Once I press enter, I can find here what is the output from this expression. So we can write here this output which is 3.9849 so the requirement from you 
is to convert all of these 10 expression into MATLAB expression and then write the output from that expression using MATLAB itself. So you can write this expression in MATLAB and then copy and paste here the expression, MATLAB expression and output. So I need you to complete this assignment and after writing and finishing all, press save. Of course, you can finish the file in several times. So you can finish the first two and then close and open again. Every time you should save the file. Save and then close. If I open again the file, I can find my name and the student ID. And if I wrote any things here, and then save, close, and then open the file again. I can find it. This is wrong. Delete, and then adjust, and then save, and then close. So now I can finish the file before the due date. And now we need to know how to upload the file again to the assignment. Let's do that. Let's go to the Teams and uh, answer the assignment. This is, I, I explained for you how to convert the mathematical expression to MATLAB expression. And then we need to upload the file after completing. So now we finish the file and we need to upload that file. To upload that file, it's very easy. Can you see here, add work? By clicking add work, click here. This window will appear. And in this window, you have several options where to find the file on OneDrive, link in Teams, or upload from device. Device, which means your PC. Upload from PC, we click here, and then we can go to download or where you kept the file, and then select the file, the new file with your name and your student ID, and then click open. Once you click open, the file is kind of loading now or uploaded now. And then it wrote after this blue finish, we can see here uploaded. And we can see the done is completed here. Click done. Once you click done, let's open this maximize the window. Once you click done, you can find the old file or the reference file from the teacher, which is me, like 2020 MX with the name and then assignment one. But here you can find your file, which is 2020M and with the number 00 in my case and my name and assignment one. And to check the file is completed, just click here. Now you can find your file here with, for example, my name and my number. And of course, in your case, you will have here some answers for the expression. Now I check that the file I already uploaded is correct. So we need to close. So upload the file and then review the file to make sure it's correct. Uh, review it means click the file to check is it okay or not. In my case, it's okay. Once you finish, you should click turn in. Turn in. Once I click turn in here, this assignment will go to me, to the teacher. So the student once click here, the assignment will go to the teacher. So if I click turn it in, it means that we finish and some funny animation will appear. It tells us that we finished. And if we go back, now we have in the assigned, it became zero, but in completed, it became one because we finished the assignment now. But if we forgot if we discover that there is an error and we need to adjust this assignment before the due date, just click the assignment and then here this is the note. In the note it said, if you make a mistake, you can click undo turn it in. Once I click undo turn it in, it means that the assignment is back to you and you can edit and now the condition is not completed. If we check back, now the assignment is not in the complete because you didn't turn it in to the teacher. It's back to you. So it is under the uncompleted or assigned task. Go here, make the adjustment, for example, change the file or updated the file to whatever you wish. 
and then once you complete it just click back again turn in once i tur click turn it in the funny animation again is appeared and then the file is completed i can check that the file no longer in the assigned and it became in the completed so now you complete your assignment and i can check the result later so that's all for the assignment please don't worry it's very easy see you bye bye